Here's an idea that I'd like to share today. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Zulu word. Uh, it means many things, but the rough one is humanity. And Ubuntu was something I encountered in South Africa uh, when I visited the Parliament of World's Religions back in 1999. We went to the townships, and for the privileged white folks from America, you know, we, somebody said, we'd like to take you to the townships to show you how most of South Africa lives. And of course, without electricity, without running water, just the sewage is a ditch. We thought, well, okay, we don't want to patronize, but we would like to see for ourselves. So we got off the bus in the townships, a bunch of religionists, right? Rabbis and imams and priests, monks. And so we're there kind of looking around thinking, gee, I wonder if we're going to intrude. You know, maybe this wasn't a good idea. And around the corner of the houses that were mostly tin and cardboard, right, with just fabric for the door, came this crowd of adults and kids singing to us. And they encircled us, singing welcome, took us by the hand into their houses and offered us hot water. Somebody had some tea leaves and made us feel like guests. They were the hosts. We were the guests. It was a wonderful experience of gracious humanity in relationship. And these were some of the most grounded, related people I'd ever met, from the grandparents who were in the center, to the uncles and aunts, to the kids who were dancing around, wanting to find out who we were and talk to us, try out their English, show us their soccer skills, you know. It was this experience of Ubuntu. And Ubuntu means people become people through other people. Who we are is determined by our relationships. Flip it around, without our relationships, we can't know who we are. Those of you who came to VegSource this year with your moms, with your dads, and I know you're here, what a blessing. Who are you? Yes. Right? What an incredible richness to have. Now, what about those of us for who, whose parents are passed on? There are lots and lots and lots of lonely elders there hoping that some young person is going to come and ask them, how do things look further along the path to wisdom? That's a way to brighten the day on the spot, to move into Ubuntu, people becoming people through other people. And because we're here talking about bigger relationships, how about people becoming people through other creatures? How about coming from veg source, stepping back out into the world of Burbank and Southern California and Western America and North America and the planet and saying, I'm going to walk and live in relationship to all creatures on the planet because my mind is genuinely bigger having been to this conference. What a wonderful way to authentically live into our world of relationships. What a wonderful way to make a vegan lifestyle transform the world. Look at our Ubuntu. We are descendants of ancestors sitting in your seat. None of you popped up out of the earth this morning, right? We are children of parents. Some of us are parents of children. We are husbands of spouses, wives of spouses. As we sit there, the ties, the, the web, Indra's net just links and links and links. We are brothers and sisters of siblings. We are students of teachers, most of us. We are friends of friends. This web gets deeper and richer, and when you tug on one strand, the whole web moves. Goodness to one is goodness to all. Pain to one is pain to all. We are citizens, employees, teammates. Same body, great compassion, Ubuntu, the bigger web of humanity extending out to all creatures. This is the promise. This is how we can live if we live into it, if we awaken to that connection.